Hi everyone, Merrill Hodge here. Again, standing in front of the big screen with the coach's clicker, looking at some tape, doing some football IQ, trying to help fans understand maybe some terminology that you might hear in a game or in a studio. And one of the things I think can actually be most confusing to fans is when you hear play action. Um, there's actually, I think, three versions to the bracket of play action. There's play action, run action, and then RPO action. And all three of those things are different. And I think sometimes people say play action when it is really run action. Now, how do you know the difference? Play action is when the quarterback and the running back are the only ones that do some type of ball handling where it looks like run. Run action is when the quarterback and running back do the same thing, but the offensive line, they make it look like run. They're blocking. They look like it's run. Where in play action, they do more of a pass set. And then RPO is a run-pass option where a quarterback can hand the ball off and he can throw it. He has two options depending on his read. So there's really three versions of it. And the best way is to kind of show you what they are so you see them from a visual perspective. Now here's the Patriots, and they actually do this um, as good as anybody in football, but they sell hard run action. And again, what is run action? When the offensive line is coming off the ball, making it look like run, along with the quarterback and running back doing their ball handling. So if you watch this at the very snap, I mean, if you stop the ball right there, look at the offensive line. I mean, look at the way that they have come off the ball. I mean, the quarterback is reaching back here, back's coming down, his arms up, and all of these guys are coming off the football like it's run. So. I can't blame a defense to respond to that. You know, they have a run fit, and that's why they do it, because they're trying to create a void here. They're not necessarily trying to affect these guys, although it does at times. It really affects this group right here. And when you sell it and you do it well, I mean, you can see the effect it has. Look at that void. You know, everybody has run reads, and they respond to that. So to me, it's one of the best ways to throw the football is good, hard run action. From the end zone, I think you really get to see it. When you snap the ball, I mean, look at how this guard comes off. I mean, he's coming off, center's coming off. I mean, it, look at the fullback coming down here. Here comes the back. I mean, if you were on the offensive side of this, could you blame a linebacker for hitting that? You can't because they see it as run. And the quarterback does a good job here of making the fake. So that is why I love run action is you really put the defense in a bad spot. You force them to react to that. Now, play action, or this is another one actually with really good run action. If you stop the ball, what are they doing? Right off the bat, look at the quarterback. I mean, the way these guys come off the ball, I mean, this right here, everybody, you gotta be thinking run right off the back just by the action of it. The offensive lines help sell it, backfield action, quarterbacks turned. Everything looks like run. They do a good job of selling that. And then what do you have? You have this huge void with wide receivers screaming. You got all of these defenders that have already been up in the line of scrimmage. And it makes it much easier on your quarterback to find people in the open void, especially in the middle of the field. From the end zone, I love it the best because I think there is where you get a true feel if you're these guys right here. I mean, what are you thinking right here? I mean, it's just, there's so many hard elements from a, a defensive perspective based on what they're seeing. I mean, look at here. I mean, you're, you got guys flying off the football. I mean, so to get this type of response to me is not shocking. And teams that do this type of action very well, you know, it helps them throw the football. And by no means do you have to run the football effectively to do this. Um, you don't have to. Um, it does help, but this type of action just gets respect. Now here's the Steelers with their run action version. Now they do a really good job in this one is a little different. They do a good job of selling it here and all of the stuff they do here. It's the backside over here. These guys don't sell the run action. They, they look more like a pass blocking. That's why you get the reaction here versus the reaction here. When you get the end zone, you'll see what I'm talking about. This guy actually gets in a position that he can make the tackle, even though you know a better throw would allow the tight end to get running. But from the end zone, you can see the difference. When they snap the ball, I mean, once you see your guard pull like this, 
you see your back come downhill like this. I mean, your quarterback's working out. Well, no wonder these guys are reacting like this. But let's go over here. What do these guys look like they're doing? They're pass setting in this aspect. So don't be shocked by these guys, you know, not really rushing the quarterback. You know, they're standing in position because they see pass here, they see run here. You can see how run affects this side, but it doesn't affect this side as much, even though this is gonna be a pass. So it's one of the reasons probably the play didn't work out as well. I mean, it could have been a better throw, but you got a defender who's in position to tackle anyway. So you had really their run action in one version of it and play action on the other side. It's why I love really run action much better than play action. Now this right here is actually what we consider a RPO. So it's a run pass option. So in this situation, based on whatever they're telling the quarterback to read, with this guard pulling, your running back coming, could have handed that football off. And based on how they're blocking it, I mean, you got really, you got a, you got a good, got to dig out here. You got alleys here, you got canalies there, but you got your option here as far as the pass goes too. So this is an RPO version with, based on what they were reading, he could have handed it off or he, is, he had thrown it. The run action, you're clearly throwing it. It's not an option to hand it, hand it off. So that's the little difference with an RPO is there is built-in options. And play action is one of those things where just the quarterback and really the wide receiver, the running back are doing the action. The offensive line is selling pass. From the end zone, you'll see, you know, it looks like run here. If he wanted to hand it off, and he could have, that's an option. Instead, they end up throwing it. Um, again, an RPO. Now, the play action aspect of it is a little different. Now, this is considered play action in my eyes, and here's why. Always go to the offensive line. What are they doing? I mean, everybody's doing really a pass set. Now, because they're in goal line, this is a little different in the sense of you can't make many mistakes down here, so it's a more of a pass look. But look at the quarterback and wide receiver, I mean running back. Quarterback is, you know, ducking down here. Running back is really being dramatic. So they're trying to sell play action here with the pass set here. Hopefully they influence, and they do. They do a good job of, of getting that done. But that's more play action. When your offensive line is pass blocking, and your quarterback and running back are the only two doing some type of run action. But it works out well for the Steelers here against the Seattle Seahawks. You hold those underneath the fenders and you get your tight end wide open. Um, play action isn't just one version, there's three versions. Play action, run action, and RPO action.